We were already talking about regions in section Drupal Thames. In info file you can also specify some regions and then you can add them into page.tpl.php. If you don't specify any regions, Drupal will add some default regions and you can see them in section structure, blocks. If you want to add custom regions, it is important to at least include required regions. Our custom regions are for three columns on front page and also right sidebar. Now save file and clear all caches. Then go to section structure blocks. Our regions are in there. Here is an example how you can render your region in page.tpl.php. First, we need to check if there is any content with if statement and then you can use Drupal function for rendering. In brackets, use name of region which you want to render. Now, take content from page.tpl.php for particular region and create new block where you can add it. Choose appropriate place and you can also add it only for specified pages. For example, use front keyword. You can see contextual links if you hover over block. Into the block you can add whatever you want. Do this for second and third block as well. Go back to page.tpl.php in System Core module and take a look on code where content region is rendered. I highly recommend to copy code in div with id content. Remove region highlighted because we are not using it and paste it into our template. There is code which take care of titles for our pages, tabs for admin navigation, action links, and so on. Just copy it and you don't need to take care about correct rendering. Also copy breadcrumbs and messages from source TPL file to our file because it will give us information about path where we are and also some notification, for example, when we save page. If you refresh page now, you will see all content provided on front page. That's why I usually use module empty front page to hide it. So let's download and install it. Now, when you try to go to any section from your menu, you will see content of it. That's because of region content. Last region is right sidebar, so let's add it. Remove static content and move it into blocks. Don't forget to add also a block which we created via views module called view latest news. In next video, we will do final adjustments to make our site complete.